Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and we're tuning the uh, we're tuning WWV for a simple reason. I'm going to show you one uh, thing that's called a notch. What's a notch filter? A lot of people are actually don't really know what a notch is. A notch filter has this uh, notch filter here on the uh, FTDX10 is a feature that will actually remove tones or heterodynes when you're listening to something on the uh, shortwave bands. So you might have noticed sometimes a station off frequency or in the ham bands to stations um, you might be in a ham uh, frequency and there's something that there's a signal, a carrier, it creates a whistle or a tone that uh, you'd like to remove. It could be local interference that has that well, uh, notch filters are there for that. So there's a great visual aspect of the notch filter on the Yesu FTDX10. So first, look at the tone at WWV here. So I'm gonna actually move closer. And now I'm gonna activate a function called notch. And you see in the FTDX10, a little light will be here. And now it tells me that the notch filter You'll notice that something appeared on the display, that yellow V-like shape, which is the frequency where the notch is operating. So on the left is WWV. We're going to try to remove the tone by notching it. We're going to go down in frequency until we are on top. And notice, I removed it. Moving off, I'm going to wait till the next tone. And we're going to do it again with the next tone, which will be of a different frequency. At the tone, 21 hours, 38 minutes, coordinated universal time. So here's a tone. I'm going to go and get the V shape on the tone. There we go. Notice that we remove only pretty much the frequency of that tone. We hear the WWV time pips. Don't hear the tone anymore. If I switch off the notch, here we go. We're back to normal. So this just gives you an idea of what it's actually capable of. It's removing a single tone that could be undesirable in uh, a broadcast, in a ham contact, like I said, local interference that might be creating a tone on a specific frequency. It's very tight, so it's very specific to a small amount of frequencies that are actually the tone you're trying to block. Uh, it's very, very nice for that. And uh, there are some uh, radios that actually have also what, what's called automatic notch filters. Uh, some of you might have remembered that on my uh, ICOM ICR 8500, I had a little unit called the DSP40, which was a basic uh, digital signal processing unit that Radio Shack sold uh, many years ago. Well, that unit, one of the features it had was automatic notch, and not just for one frequency, it actually could notch multiple tones. It was really, really efficient and very amazing at it. So that's the reason for the notch filters they enable you to block just a single tone so that if you have a pterodynes or, or, or you know some kind of tone on a broadcast that's annoying you can actually just remove that tone by using that notch filter on the uh, radio a lot of high end receivers have a notch uh, most high end transceivers have notch filters also uh, they're kind of useful unfortunately it's not a feature we see on portables, so uh, not I don't I can't recall a portable that has any of these features. Uh, one of the drawbacks on the Yesu is that the notch filter doesn't operate on uh, AM mode. So if I would be on AM to listen to uh, WWV on 25, uh, even though the light does turn on when I actually switch. Um, the notch doesn't really give me anything, so, oops, let me go back here. So the notch doesn't seem to be affecting anything. 
we'll try. Let's see if we uh, I go back down, and you're gonna see that there's no effect. So here, this one was like a hundred, uh, six sixty, whatever frequency I tuned to. The notch has no effects. So it's not actually active in AM mode from what I see, and of course it doesn't appear on the display also, which is an indication that it's actually non-existent, it seems, in the AM mode. So that's the explanation of a notch filter. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.